Right now I'm doing some uh, some custom trees, and uh, shortcut keys are the name of the game. Uh, so one of the things that you can do uh, that are super useful is Alt D. Alt D automatically clones whatever support to, you know, whatever you're highlighted on, it, it clones the whole thing. Uh, and in this case, it won't clone a whole tree, but it'll clone whatever individual support you're on. So what I'm able to do is just very quickly uh, move through here and kind of I just click once, I hit Alt D, and it automatically clones it. Now the other thing that you can do, which is uh, equally useful, although in different ways, is Alt and Shift. And what Alt and Shift does is it makes the support uh, come from wherever you last uh, shot a support from. So in this case, it's going to uh, parent it down here at the bottom. Now because of the kind of work I'm doing right now, uh, Alt Shift isn't uh, the best bet for that. Um, but Alt Shift is your is is absolutely one of your best friends in terms of uh, rapidly reproducing uh, supports. If you want to create support fans, it can be uh, the fastest way to do it actually. Uh, so Alt D best friend. Now the other thing is is sometimes you need to um, you know when you're doing it this way, you want to actually move away further. You need to change the angle, and that's where uh, this next support uh, shortcut I'm going to show you is awesome. It's got uh, Alt R. So what I've done is is I've I've, I've cloned that support <clears throat> now. This is not optimal. That's not a good way to support. If you hit Alt R, what it does is it redraws the support. Now, in this case, it put it right over to where I wanted it. Uh, it won't always do that because it is a redraw. It is not make vertical, which is another uh, shortcut. Uh, I don't actually use make vertical. I use uh, redraw just because I find that one to be uh, the most useful. Uh, and that's, uh, again, that's Alt R. Uh, absolute best friend. Now, the other thing, especially when you're doing this kind of work like this, uh, that is just a, an absolute necessity for um, keyboard shortcuts is uh, how do you deselect because uh, Lychee remembers the last support that you used. So let's say I wanted to drop a new support over here and I didn't want to do the whole grab one and move it over. You notice right now I've got a really long support neck and maybe I don't want that there. So what you need to do is hit Alt D. Now what Alt D does is it deselects the support that you were attached to and then Light you goes back to the last support that you created, which in this case was a modified light for me. It's a light um, uh, with 1.1 diameter, 2.2 on the tip and 347 on the tip length. Um, and that's what you know you might want this what I actually would want in this case because I want to get a little bit closer. Uh, that's the way I'm doing these kinds of uh, particular set of tree style. You start close. And you hit, uh, you know, this one, and then I'll clone it, bring it down a little bit. This changes the angle and lets me hit <clears throat> support or islands that are here, just in a more clean fashion. Gives plenty of breathing room for the model. Make sure we don't get fusions. Lets the resin drain away. And again, the the, the keyboard shortcut that I'm using here is Alt D. Uh, that's what's doing this duplication of the supports and I am in wireframe mode if you don't use uh, lychee in this manner it's actually kind of worth uh, it is different it's not how I uh, always support but when you're doing this kind of uh, really tight work where uh, visibility would be difficult because you can all of these little wireframe lines you can those would be supports so trying to look through and see all that would be very difficult um, to get to wireframe mode it's actually right over here it's this little box right here there are these different modes. There's, you know, the all supports, and as you can see, if you're trying to work in there, uh, it's nice to zoom out. You can see that this is, you know, fairly clean. Uh, but trying to work in there when you've got all of these supports is just kind of hard to see. Uh, so I like to go to uh, the wireframe mode. I find it most useful indeed. Uh, so this is just uh, another one of these short videos. We'll have quite a few more up in the uh, coming days. Thank you so much.